A massive fire destroyed about 30 boats on Lake Union overnight. The fire sparked around 2 o'clock this morning, and then as you can see in these pictures, just flared up in size. Smoke billowed over the Ship Canal Bridge. Crews are still on the scene at this hour. King Fire's Farah Jadron has been following this all morning. So Farah, you spoke with the deputy fire chief about the investigation. Yeah, and right now they're still trying to figure out the cause. Earlier they thought it was about 42 boats impacted, now it's about 30. So still a significant amount of damage done to those boats and a lot of issues caused here for the Seattle Boat Company. Now we did see somebody put into handcuffs and taken by Seattle police to a squad car and then to an ambulance. The Seattle Fire PIO tells us that person was being looked over for injuries and that that person was found on a boat in the water not far from where those other boats were in, up in flames. So we're still waiting to learn how that person of interest, which is how Seattle police are referring to that person, could be connected to these fires. Take a look at your screen right now. This is video from the SDOT cameras showing you when things first started sparking. You can see the thick smoke billowing. This right underneath the Ship Canal Bridge near Northeast North Lake Way. The smoke has been changing with the wind. Sometimes it's thicker when more foam and water is going on to those boats that were on fire. So keep that in mind if you're traveling in this area. You may or may not see that smoke. You definitely can smell it. Take a look at this video now. This is from the Citizen app. You can see uh, the bright orange flames. The deputy fire chief describing those flames as high as 70 feet in the air at different times. This bringing up to 100 firefighters to the scene to work it. Now this is video our photo journal as Doug Dillon gathered when he got here to the scene. This is another view for you to show you the uh, the fire boat on the water, a police boat, and also the Coast Guard there. There was water being put on by the chief Seattle boat and also a couple of ladder trucks here on the road. So a massive response for a massive fire. There may be up to 42 boats that were lost. That was the report from the owner who said there were up to 42 boats there. Uh, we saved the building. We stretched the line in right away and got inside the building and knocked the fire down. Billowing from this area where they've been uh, putting water in. Uh, you know, there's gas, there's oil, it's glass that a lot of the material on the boat, so it, it burns and it combusts, so it's, it's dangerous here. Uh, the Department of Ecology is here to assess the damage to the water with the spill team here. We also saw the Coast Guard using a drone to kind of map out how things are looking from the air. Live in Seattle, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News.